Hey guys, welcome back to Mom Likely. Thanks so much for joining me here for a visit today. Today's video, I have a lot going on. There's a lot to show you. I'm showing you a lot of like before and afters of just updates that we've done in a few of the spaces around the house and the flooring, as well as doing a lot more deep cleaning. There was so much stuff that I had to get done on a series of days where we only had just like a couple of hours to come with servicemen and then um, also do like deep cleaning here and decide like what all needed to be done here. So this video is like a compilation really of like a few days worth of work so grab a snack let's chat and I'll show you what's been happening so if I missed you so far in the last couple videos uh, Merry Christmas Happy New Year Happy Holidays I'm really happy that we're past you know the ending and beginning holidays here because it's just been so busy we literally got here on December 4th we got our keys and for like four weeks it was just so much back and forth and moving and we hosted like four different gatherings and like the kids break and then what's crazy was like we really didn't get to do any of our winter activities like we literally had no snow here in Michigan like all of December like on our end of Michigan um so we didn't do like any of our go-to winter like family activities we didn't get to see the lights we didn't get to go sledding we didn't see Santa we didn't like do anything because we were so like engulfed in this move but everything is settling now um, I'm a little behind on where you're at just because of the time frame of how quickly all this happened um, I couldn't like edit as fast as things were happening so um, right now we are in the house but this was I think one of the this was the last major like deep cleaning video that I kind of did prior to us moving in um, and then we finally got all that settled one of the major things that I was talking about in the last video was the vacuum cleaner situation for the house. Um, I still didn't pick one, but I've just kind of been winging it with my cordless shark vac and it's been really amazing. I'm really surprised by the battery life on this. Um, I was going to get a new corded vacuum, but I think I'm just going to wait because I think it's doing a really good job so far. You know how they have that um, term like slow vacuuming and like power vacuuming where you use like a more powerful vacuum every so often? I do have like my old vacuum, which I think I'll use that for on my carpet. But so far, even with the size of this house, that's what I was really concerned with because our last house was so small. I was concerned the battery life wasn't going to be sufficient in this house, but it literally is every time the way I clean too is like I'll work on kind of like one room at a time and then like I'll hit the floors last so like between rooms or like between floors I'm able to like plug it in and it gets some charge um it doesn't like give me any like oh my 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 battery's dying vibes you know what I'm saying so um it's just oh hey I'm done with this area I'm gonna plug this in to give it some juice and then we'll pick it up where I left off and so far it's just been really good so I don't think I'm going to upgrade my vacuum as of just yet. But while I'm on the topic of that, I do have a new old cedar broom that I did get. Um, I was sweeping on this day just because this was like one of the first times I was cleaning this floor. And it was really crazy because I was just like, wow, this is a lot of floor to sweep. Um, it just felt so crazy. I've actually lost a couple pounds since being in this house just literally from going up and down the floors and from cleaning the floors. <laughs> So um, I'm not mad about it at all, but I was really concerned and scared on how my vacuum would do on my hardwood floors because, you know, I just didn't want to scratch these floors. Now, after this video, uh, we did decide to go ahead and reseal the floors. So um, when we started to put stuff out on the floor, we ended up having to take it all back out, shove it in the kitchen and like in the lower levels. So that way we could get uh, polyurethane on the floor. And I'm really glad we did because it looks a lot better um, and hopefully like it's going to hold up with its longevity with the dogs and the traffic. So I'm glad we did that. But now that that's done, I have been, um, I sweep my corners and stuff just because of like dog hair getting under my baseboard floor heating. Um, but then I do vacuum because I'm just a firm believer that vacuuming is just, you know, a lot more like efficient at picking up that dust. Um, and I always want to do that before mopping. So I've been taking my vacuum over this thing and it's been good. Another one of my favorite perks in this house, like right here in this window, like we have our couch covering this window now, but if the dogs do get up there, the kind of um, window treatments that are installed in here, 
those blinds are actually inside of the window pane so my dogs can't destroy the blinds if they do happen to put their snout up there they can't move the blinds to see outside or anything so that has been great like this window has been clean we haven't been having the same issues that we had at our old house with the bay window um, so that's been really great You'll have to tell me down below if you think I should put a window treatment on this window um, in one of the next videos when you see like how the furniture is placed because I kind of like the open feel of it but I'm kind of wondering if I should maybe put up a valence but um, I don't mind just having the exposed curtain but I know it's kind of like you know not necessarily frowned upon but I know it probably doesn't look the prettiest but I don't mind it but do you think a valence would look nicer up there? Um, I'm not really sure. A new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in new, so where I can find myself I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark, against it all, but made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way Times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way Okay, making our way back into the kitchen for some deep cleaning. I'm doing inside of the cabinets and the drawers and just getting all that situated so I can finally put our own stuff here in the kitchen. I've really loved trying to develop my new like routine here. Um, I've found myself vacuuming every single day almost um, and then obviously like doing the dishes and stuff every day, which has been great because one of the most annoying parts about moving was just not having like an eating routine down. Like we were eating out so much and fast food and just garbage. And it's been really nice to just be able to like get back in the kitchen and actually make some food. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I don't make every single meal, but it's really nice to the majority of the time be able to just cook in the kitchen. Um, and it's just a lot simpler and more affordable. I also really love the new faucet, which you'll see uh, in a clip here in a minute. Um, it works really well, and um, my dream of putting the crock pot right into the sink to be able to wash it has been, it has worked out. I have uh, cooked something in the crock pot, and it was a lot nicer to clean, so that was really cool. While I'm on the subject of cleaning the cabinets, as you can see there, that's where I'm going to have my dishes. Uh, they're all going to go within those two cabinet doors. 
um, that's sufficient. We actually have two sets of plates and then an assortment of different cups and stuff. We also have the majority of stainless steel cups because that way um, they just don't break and they last a long time. But we have glass in case something needs to be heated or whatnot. But while I'm on that topic, how many of you went out and got the Valentine Stanley cups? That was like a really crazy thing that was going on with that that day. Um, I did not get one. I do have a Stanley cup. I have a white one that James bought me, but I just, I can't hoard cups. So I try to only have just those couple and I do try to have the stainless one. So we, we are bougie about them. We have been gifted some Yetis. Um, and like, we just prefer the stainless cups just cause they last longer, but I did not go out and get a Stanley. So you'll have to let me know if you got one. I wonder if they're going to do like a limited edition one for the rest of the year. Like, are they going to do a St. Patty's one? Are they going to do an Easter one? Will they come out with a new fall one? Or was it just that one off type of thing? Something that was really cool about that company that I learned is just that they've actually been around for like a hundred years. Um, and they pretty much just marketed only towards men. And then one day, like some lady had a blog and talked about it and then it like blew up. And then within like the last five years, they went from making like, I think it was like 10 million over like 20 or 50 years or some crap to actually making like 700 million within like five years, just because like the market of women, like they started making the pretty cups. So that was a long winded story, but I just thought the whole thing was so crazy. So I had to like go read up on it a little bit. Um, and it's just cool. Stanley is doing their thing. Um, and they're really great cups. <laughs> One of the funniest things I've seen with those cups with people making dupes is somebody took Stanley and put it backwards, which is Yelnats. And so if you're a Disney Holes fan, um, that's one of my favorite movies. And that was like one of the topics in the movie was like Stanley Yelnats his name was the same backwards um and oddly enough as a child the song in that movie at the end um I used to sing that to myself and it was like I will survive I will endure when the going's tough you can't be sure and like that really took me through a few things like hearing that inspirational song in that movie um so Disney uh life inspiration I guess for the win <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? I actually went to Dollar Tree. I have pulled you guys over on um, Instagram and Facebook and asked where you guys shop the most out of Meyer, Walmart, and Dollar Tree. And a lot of you said Aldi and Dollar Tree, and I was really thrilled. Um, <laughs> at least out of the stores I have here in the Midwest, those where I predominantly shop. So I ended up um, deciding to go ahead and get Dollar Tree organizers for this house as well. So I went and I did some sizing and I found a lot of great things that are going to work perfectly here and they're super affordable. So that'll be an upcoming video.
So for organizing underneath my kitchen sink, this is the one area where I have thought about being a little bit more bougie and spending a little bit more money. Um, however, I did just get a Dollar Tree thing to put under here um, for when I did do the organizing because I am on the hunt for some clear containers just because the system that I use for doing the dishes and using the cleaning supplies under there, I feel like um, the system won't ever change. So that's why I feel more comfortable spending a little bit more. Also because of the use, um, having something a little bit more sturdy and also to offset like the actual like ingredients in the chemicals in the cleaning products, I feel like a more, um, quality like acrylic piece would be more sufficient versus like the Dollar Tree dupes. Um, but I didn't get them now because I just don't know what to get. The container store is so far away from me. Um, maybe I'll order something on Amazon. If you guys have like an idea, sometimes you guys send me stuff on Instagram, um, like from Amazon. If you find something, then I'll be willing to look at it. I'm just not sure. I definitely want to get something for my dishwashing tablets. Um, maybe something for my microfiber cloths and like something for the trash bags. I've also thought about hanging the trash bags up. Like I've seen some um, Pinterest hacks. I'm not exactly sure. It's been the one area even in the last house where like I didn't commit to like something that I would find really pretty there just because I wasn't sure. But here I definitely want to make the leap and just go ahead and organize it and make it real nice and functional. I also don't think they'll have them now, but my boots in this video were from Aldi from the iOS aisle. Um, they were only like $15 and although they're not like for out winter trekking they were really great for like um just being around the house if you wanted like some boots house shoes um or if you wanted to just use them for errands and you don't get like snow i thought they were like super cute so if you can find them or if you can find them in um, upcoming years i think they're worth the 15 dollars <laughs> As pretty as this was, and I really loved it, and I love folding these up here, having this here just wasn't practical for us because like we have to have a junk drawer. And I feel like with three or four drawers, even though that's like a lot, 
Um, it's more than we had before. I just can't forego that junk drawer. It's just essential for us. We have to have like those things accessible. So I took those towels out and I'll just be hopefully adding them to under the counter when I get some organization under there. Another funny thing as I was editing this, I was just like, oh my gosh, I was living in these gray sweatpants. And it's like, do you remember, like, you just can't go wrong with like your good favorite pair of sweatpants. And I've been talking all this trash about like, oh, I want a capsule wardrobe and yada yada, all that jazz. And here I am basically being a, min a minimalist <laughs> as I was going through this process. Like I was washing and repeating and wearing these pants so much. I couldn't find the other ones. And like, I don't care how old you are, it's just like at any age, you just have to appreciate your good pair of sweatpants. For me, they're always the gray or the blue ones. Um, these particular pair are from Walmart and they're from actually the plus size section. I, use, I think these ones are like a 0X or a 1X is what I got. Um, I typically wear a large, but I like those ones, but only the cinch bottom ones with the cinch ties at the top. And I also really love the Hanes men's um, sweatpants that also have the cinch bottom. I feel like those are the ones that have lasted me the longest in the years past, um, but I just really love them. The other thing that I found was at Meyer a while ago and it was like a band inspired sweat outfit and I think it was like the Dark Side of the Moon set. Um, it was like, I think, a, was it a Pink Floyd set? I can't remember. But anyways, the material on that has been so amazing. I don't know what it was made out of, but I wish I could find more like that. I've had it for so long. It fits so great. The color is barely fading and it's like not even pilling. I don't know exactly what all the material is. I even tried to find others like it, but I can't. Um, but that outfit, like the quality on that thing is so great. It did cost me, I think it was like $30 per piece at like Meyer like four years ago, but it's so nice um what one thing i hate about sweatpants is just that i have a long legs not a long legs i have two fortunately i have long legs so buying sweatpants is always really weird because i don't like them to be like flooding and the cinches to be riding up too much um you know i compensate with high socks sometimes which is cozy but this particular pair of pants had like um they were just long enough and they were high waisted and they're tight fitting and stretchy so they were like perfect and i just wish i could find another like that so if you have a suggestion let me know i love my favorite pair of baggy gray sweatpants like this but if you have like a really good quality tight fitting one you love let me know this oven range hood was so nasty when i tell you the kitchen was so stinky because of this like the thing the what do you call that thing under there the exhaust fan thing under this was like really old and weird as you can see but there was a like a cover and it was just so nasty and it, i don't think it had ever really been cleaned um so i'm just glad we just went ahead and took that down it was like 60 years old and it was an absolute no for me so yeah james put up a new one of these so happy that he did he's really great with that kind of stuff it works great and i just love having the light over the top of the stove it makes it a lot more easy for me to you know cook and stuff the one thing in here that wasn't replaced was the garbage disposal um and it's like a weird one kind of it seems like it's a lot more wider than like the newer ones um, so when I turn it on, it goes like, Foof, and it will, it like shoots out of you. So like, you got to be careful sometimes depending what's in there. Um, so I think I might need to put a new, one of these little things in there. I don't know what you would call this, like a little splash guard or something. Um, but yeah, this thing still works pretty good. And I think they said it was like 50 years old as well. So I'm shocked at how well it still works. <laughs> Show me love, make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love this is all we got Show me life, show me love This is all we got Show me love, show me love
fall onto the ground But I know you will turn it around Oh, this is all we got And I know you'll make a mistake Get into fear and lose your way Find the light when it rains Oh, this is all we got now here's a few updates just of like a few messes that we had endured over the last couple of weeks trying to get things situated inside the house. Um, back here, James ended up figuring out how to close these blinds. I think they need to be sprayed with like WD-40 or something. If you have any of these kind of blinds um, outside in a sunroom or like, can you do that? I'm not sure. I'm just taking a wild guess here to say like that might make them a little more smooth. I need to get out there and clean them still. We were living with this living room or everything from the living room in the kitchen for like a while. We had to wait like I think three days before we were able to put anything on the floor because um, after you get it, it has to fully dry and then they don't want anything like completely covering the floor for like a while. So it was a mess. We couldn't move in. We ended up getting the whole top floor painted and the bathroom. So um, I wasn't going to do it. And then at the last minute, I was like, let's just go ahead and do it. Because if I don't, it's like we never do for so long. We also got a new shower head. It's really, really long, but I actually like that fact because it's going to make it easier for me to both clean the shower and give the dogs a bath. Um, I was tripping over all kind of stuff in here. It was, it was just a madhouse in here. The kids were not here. It was just me and James going like back and forth. Um, we didn't have internet, so of course they didn't want to come. <laughs> um, but we ended up getting the floor done down here. And then in the last video, I know I showed, um, the carpet update in the basement. If you missed that one, I'll link it here for you. We also got a few things painted here on this floor. We didn't get this room painted, just those um, curtain toppers and the bottom of that fireplace. And then we put in another lamp. This family room area and the living room upstairs, they don't have ceiling lighting. So we have just like lamps in there. Um, so we have to have some kind of option. Here's the laundry room. We did end up getting our washer and dryer set here. It's dirty, it needs to be cleaned as you can see. Um, but this floor needs cleaned as well. This tile though is the asbestos flooring. So this is the one floor that has to be like covered up. Cause like, we're not trying to deal with that. You know, um, we had to deal with that in this whole flooring. We just had to cover it up. Here's what our room looked like before. This is the room right next to the laundry area, right next to the family room. Um, this is our master bedroom and that's our master closet. There's the bookshelf that you guys saw. We ended up losing out on a piece of that and this set right here that you see in that clip, we gave that set away to somebody and then we end up getting rid of the middle of this bookshelf too, which is that first one, um, just because we couldn't fit everything with other furniture that we had as well. Here is a before look at the master closet when it's empty and the carpet's done. We ended up getting that sprayed. We were trying to paint it, but then I was like, you know what, let's just spray it. So we ended up spraying it, and then here's a look at that. In the next upcoming video too, um, I did already film it. It's gonna be like me putting all of our clothes away. I had so much laundry. It was so disgusting to try to like get through all the laundry that we brought here. <laughs> But I'm still super grateful that we kept these two sides because we ended up keeping the TV stand from the old one in there and we just put these bookshelves on each side of that. Here, I'll walk around and show you like what I mean. Um, there's the old set. So you've probably seen it in the last clip, but now you'll see I have one of each of these on either side of the TV. It looks so cute. Um, you'll see it in an upcoming video. Like I end up putting our books up there and some decor and it's going to be cute to do for the holidays and have access to like family games and books and stuff. A lot of what we were doing was just really complicated work, uh, just back and forth stuff. So it was kind of useless to film like all of it, but we ended up having to get everything out of the kitchen into the living room and set that back up um, once the floors were done. And then we just had to distribute everything we brought from the house just all over the house. So it just took so long. <laughs> there was just no way I could film it all. Um, and unpacking it, but I will be doing a video on like the majority of the boxes I had to put up here are organizing the closets up here. I have 
the bathroom to organize, the bathroom linen closet, plus a hallway linen closet up here. So there's still a lot to organize even up here, but um, there was just so much stuff to put away. So far, we've got the garage pretty much organized and put away, and we've also compiled like a really large stack of things that we're going to be utilizing uh, for selling or for selling in a yard sale or donation. Just depends how it works out, but we don't want the stuff no more. We also got a new TV to go here on this wall. I like a lot of your suggestions where you said to put that um, that vintage wooden hutch like uh, down here, like in the family room or in the dining room. And I'm thinking about putting it under this TV. I'm just not quite sure yet. Um, but for now, James did put a TV up. He didn't get it up on this day, but we did just unbox it so I could show you. I hope you enjoyed coming along for today's visit. It's been great. Uh, I feel like I got so much done in this video, um, as well as just in the couple videos I have filmed that have yet to be um, edited. We've come a really long way and it's getting like super cozy in here. I finally got to mop this hardwood floor for the first time too and um, it was great. <laughs> I didn't film that one because I just had a party so I just had to do it, um, but it was really great. So. I just can't wait for all the new content and all the new cleaning videos here. So please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you're new. Share this with a friend. I would absolutely love that. It helps me out so much. And I'll be sure to be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.